All right, so we're talking about Lillo Brancato Jr., best known as the young Italy-born lad who got his lucky break through A Bronx Tale, 93, under Robert De Niro's directing whip. Later, he even had a stint on The Sopranos, that iconic mob drama. But in an unfortunate twist of fate, his on-screen mob boss style life somehow leached into reality, causing a heap of trouble. On a grim December day in 2005, Lillo found himself messed up in a real-life crime drama. He'd been partying all night with Steven Armento, a cat he'd met through his girlfriend's dad, who also happened to be a known criminal. Seeking an end to their escapade with cocaine and a chase for more, they ended up trying to break into an apartment in the Bronx, certain it was vacant. What they didn't foresee was that an off-duty cop, Daniel Anshotagi, lived nearby. When the break-in noise woke up Anshotagi, he did what his training taught him, armed himself, and went to investigate. A bloody face-off ensued. Armento, pulling out his piece, shot the officer. Brancato also got hurt in this skirmish. Badly injured but determined, Anshotagai managed to call for backup, and both Armento and Brancato were arrested. People were shocked when the news of an actor and alleged cop killer hit the tabloids. For crying out loud, this was the kid who starred alongside De Niro. What, did life for him become a never-ending scene from The Sopranos? Professional peers and public alike couldn't understand how our Bronx Tale star veered so far off track. Social media was buzzing with opinionated folks branding him anything from a senseless thug to a wasted talent. Lillo, banged up and bloody in the Bronx hospital, was in a real fix. He was charged with second-degree murder and first-degree attempted burglary. Of course, he pleaded not guilty. Armento couldn't wheedle his way either, having been caught red-handed in the act of shooting. Now, an actor's dramatic prowess couldn't quite translate into courtroom innocence. Being caught at the crime scene, Brancato fought tooth and nail, but the odds were stacked high. A drawn-out, high-profile trial later, he wasn't found guilty of cop killing. But he didn't completely dodge the bullet either. His burglary charge stuck, landing him a jaw-dropping 10-year jail sentence. As for Armento, he was handed a life sentence without a chance of parole. Now let's end this on a bit of a bittersweet note. Remember that kid we initially fell in love with on screen thanks to his innocent charm and talent? His bright career prospects degenerated into a fiery plunge into crime, forever tarnishing his repute. The critics tore him apart and the public was quick to disown him. But then, even in the joint, there were some who sympathized and rallied for him. He swore to straighten his life post-prison. After release in 2013, Lillo indeed looked to atone for his transgressions, participating in substance abuse talks and trying to kickstart an acting comeback, albeit with scant success. In the end, Lillo's story is an example of how fame and fortune can be mightily deceiving. One wrong companion choice, one wrong turn, and the promise of a golden future was flushed down a dark and twisted drain. But kudos to the guy. He's trying, however haltingly, to rewrite his story, to pick up the broken pieces, a phoenix striving to rise from the ashes.